What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and I am excited. We got another car. Alright, so before I open up this box, I am just excited. <laughs> excited about this. Let's just open it up. You guys, check this out. Ta da! Yes! Yes! Look at that! So, first and foremost, I want to apologize to everybody. My table here is a complete, utter mess because I have been working on the F 150 and this guy just came in the mail I'm excited I'm excited so I have been wanting to get this car here let me put it this way so I have been wanting to get this car for the longest time ever since Kyosho and this is actually my first Kyosho RC so ever since Kyosho came out with this body I have been wanting to get this body for the longest time Every time I go, went to go buy it, something always came up. It was either billing wise, money wise, or they were just out of stock. But I ended up pulling the trigger on it, finally found it in stock. I had the funds for it. I ended up pulling the trigger and I picked this guy up. So let me take this guy out of the box and we'll go through it. Oh man, I'm totally excited about this. Dude, oh, oh, this looks so sexy. Even the box, guys, even the box just looks absolutely amazing. I love, and I absolutely love this body. If you guys can't tell, this skyline is my favorite looking skyline out of the GTR models. This is the best looking one to me as you guys can see here. I also have this one 24 scale little guy. I've had this one, it's all dusty and everything. I've had this one for many, many, many years. My brother actually gave that to me for my birthday or something. And I that's always been my favorite body of the skyline. So, oh. I am just too excited. I am way too excited. Look at that. There's like little handles on here. I am very, very excited to get this guy out. So one thing I do want to point out is I love this car. <laughs> I haven't even ran this thing yet and I love this car. And they even put little handles to pull this guy. Oh, look at that back end. Ooh, 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 look at that. Look at that. They want y'all look at that. Oh, man. And now for the nice peel. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, this thing just looks absolutely, eh. oh my goodness. I am just super, super excited about this one. So, I love this body. This body is, this, this, I have no words. This thing is beautiful. Let's put it this way. This thing is beautiful. So this is a Lexan body. You do have hard plastic mirrors. You do have the whole front end here, the whole grill with the lights and everything. This is all hard plastic. 
the front bumper, hard plastic. Um, you got windshield wipers up here, also hard plastic. Even the fenders, the over fenders on here, hard plastic. If we go around to the back, again, the same thing. As you guys can see, the fenders here, it's all hard plastic. The rear lights, hard plastic. The spoiler is also hard plastic. And the rear bumper is hard plastic. Now, if you guys don't know, I don't know when they released this, but if you guys don't know, this is on a Phaser Mark II chassis. Uh, I believe that the Phaser Mark II chassis comes in different wheelbases, if I'm not mistaken. I think the Tundra, I think the Tundra is actually longer than this actual chassis for this car. If I'm not mistaken, I will look it up and I'll put it over here somewhere. So you guys can see. But, oh man, this body is gorgeous. So I will be dead honest with you guys. I'm really not intending on running this thing, to be quite honest with you. It, it just looks way, way, way too pretty. It's probably just, whoa, it's probably just going to wind up sitting on a shelf, to be quite honest, because I am in total 100% love with this body. I don't want to damage this body at all. I might take it out for one run, possibly one run, and that's it. But let's take this body off and let's see what this phaser chassis looks like. Oof, that just... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, as you guys can see in the body there, you do have light buckets, so you can actually put lights in this guy, in the back, as also in the front. It doesn't look like these marker lights here. So these marker lights, <laughs> so these marker lights here, there are no light buckets for them. <clears throat> So you're not gonna be able to put lights in, but for the headlights and for the tail lights, there are light buckets that you can put light buckets in. Lights, not light buckets. All right, so let me bring you guys over here so we can go and take a look at this. All right guys, so like I said, this is my very first Kyosho chassis, Kyosho RC ever. My first Kyosho RC ever that I got. So starting off with the motor, this is a 14 turn brushed motor. This whole thing is equipped with full ball bearings. This chassis is actually a 260 millimeter wheelbase. So the ESC, you can you run, uh, let me see if I can move this wiring out of the way. So you can run a LiPo in there. You're just gonna have to actually leave that exactly where it's at or you can run nickel metal hydrides right here you have your on all switch the shocks here they are fully oiled shocks they are fully oiled shocks they have plastic drive shafts in there they might there might be some upgrades that you can do to them which it's a Kyosho so I'm pretty sure there are and that's basically where we are at <clears throat> so you can fit this ESC only takes a two cell lipo in here so I believe they are all plastic gearing that's in here I'm not 100% sure but this thing looks absolutely beautiful even the wheels that they uh, put on here for the body these wheels just look perfect of course this is all open diffs so, I'm trying to get it right there, but that is the KS202W Waterproof Servo, servo from Kyosho. Um, the one thing that I just realized, I'm so excited about this car. The one thing I just realized is that I never opened up the box for the transmitter. So, let me put you guys back down, and I'm going to grab the box for the transmitter. We're going to open that up. 
All right, so in the chassis, you get the instruction manual, which I will be putting that to the side. Again, this is my very first Kyosho, Kyosho, however you want to pronounce it. It's my very first one. So we're going to set this to the side and we want to go over to this box here. So I was just so excited about this car that I completely forgot about the transmitter. So let's, and here is the transmitter. So, <laughs> so this is a Synchro KT 231P controller that comes with the car. And you have, you're able to charge it through there. Uh, DSC, you can hook up a DSC to it. And up top here, you have all of your trim levels up on the top. And this thing feels nice. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to do one-handed driving with this thing, just for the main fact that, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the steering is just kind of angled. Here we go. So the steering is kind of angled this way towards the front, which is gonna be kind of hard for me because I don't really have long, long hands, long fingers, as you guys can see. Like, here I am driving it and I can't, I can't steer. So I'm gonna have to probably get something to be able to steer with it one-handed. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that is your on and, there we go, on and off switch. It was actually in the on position, which right there actually feels kind of good. Um, you can reverse your steering, reverse your throttle right on here. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. So your on off switch is right there. I might have to look in the instruction manual and see what that switch does. So in the bag where the controller came in, we're gonna set this guy to the side. So in the bag that the controller came in, we have got a couple more things. If I can open this bag up. <laughs> All right, so let me bring you guys down here a little bit. So we do have, all right. So in the bag, we do have some more brakes that we see here. I'm guessing it's probably to extend the wheels out a little bit more. That's cool. I forget what that's called. I really forget what that's called, but I know it's the bind. The bind plug, Thank, there you go. It's, uh, they bring us the bind plug. You get some shock adjustments and everything here for it. A couple extra screws, uh, some tuning. You're able to tune your suspension, your, coil, your suspension with these. And you get your turnbuckle wrench. And they also send some Allen keys, which is pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> I am super, super excited. I gotta give my friends over at Hobby Recreation Products a huge, and I do mean a huge, shout out for them having this available in perfect timing for me to be able to get it. <laughs> Again, I am super excited about this thing. Guys, you don't understand, but this car is a huge, and I do mean a huge, love of mine. I, if I can get this, there we go. I love this body so much. I love this car so much that I, I, I just love it. I just love it. This is my favorite Skyline that Nissan ever came out with. Yeah, I do like the R34, the R33, R32, the GTR. Uh, but this body right here is my all-time favorite. So in the box that this car came with, I also ordered chassis rails. I ordered chassis rails because I'm going to need it for the F-150 that I have hiding away up there. What I really want to do is I'm going to do it. Let's go put a battery in here and I'm gonna take it outside.
as much as I don't want to, I want to give this guy a run. But I don't because everything's wet because it just rained and it's cold. But I got to give it a run. So let's go give it a run. All right, everybody, so we are back inside with this thing. And again, I did not want to run this too long just for the main fact that I do not want to damage this body at all. I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to damage this body at all. This is just too beautiful of a body to destroy. And I'm not going to be putting this thing out and wrecking it by any means. Guaranteed there is a lot of potential for this chassis But unfortunately this body is not going to be able to see that potential super excited I love this thing. I love this body so much. So again boys and girls ladies and gentlemen do not forget 500 subscribers we are almost there almost there 500 subscribers We will be I will be choosing five different subscribers. We'll be getting stickers like this so it's gonna be a full sheet there are 10 of them on here I'm more than likely gonna be cutting them out before I ship them out to you uh, mail them out to you so 10 stickers there will be five lucky subscribers getting stickers like this so again hit that like button subscribe tell everybody you know about the channel 
and we'll figure out what we're gonna do when this thing reaches, when this channel reaches a thousand, which hopefully I want to do this year with all of your guys' help. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys like the content and don't forget, you all keep our saying. Have a good one, guys.